Hey folks, it's Poison Jam. Today I was hoping to start the studio and gear tour portion of this channel. Long before Poison Jam was a Twitch channel where a guy played bass requests all night. Poison Jam was once a DJ and electronic music producer based out of Newfoundland, Canada. In honor of that heritage, my first video was going to be on the Pioneer DDJ SX2 that you've all seen hanging around in the back of my video. These decks are very similar to the decks that I used during my last residency or set of gigs in Newfoundland before I moved to Ontario. Unfortunately, when I went to use them for the first time in forever, first time in for I quickly ran into a problem. So we're gonna go to Poison Jam rambling about the problem we are today. Seriously. Play button doesn't even work anymore. Uh, these should all be green. One of the RGBs is dead in this hot queue. This should all be one solid color. The deck one indicator is also dead. First pad is dead. The third pad is dead. Uh, the eighth pad is dead. All the green RGB. In this hot queue button, the opposite side is dead compared to over there. At least this play button still works. But as you can see, the deck two indicator up here is broken as well. I just, there is, absolutely this has been nothing but an absolute disappointment and headache this this entire controller needless to say this was not the first video i wanted to make for my studio and dj gear tour is very disappointing i have recently gotten back into producing electronic music sometimes on my stream sometimes not and djing again was something that i was entertaining the possibility of i reviewed the timeline of the problems that i had with this device. So I purchased it in 2015 from Long and McQuaid. Six months in, my first green LED failed. 12 months, my second green LED failed. 18 months, the third green LED failed. I became convinced that this was a manufacturer's defect that Pioneer should be responsible for fixing. I contact customer service and I am put in touch with a contract repair service based out of Montreal. I am told that the only time they have ever seen issues with this device and those LEDs are water damage. I can assure you no water damage ever occurred to this item. It's been safely on this DJ deck, nowhere near liquids for the most of its existence. And to be sure, water damage is one of those excuses that is often used to get out of what is obviously a product defect. It's very hard to disprove, and the threat means you'll be on the hook if they ultimately decide that water damage was the cause, which they will. The repair quote they gave me was way too high, and it was not guaranteed or insured against future failures of similar components throughout the device. The main point being that if I had submitted it for repairs when I had seen the first green LED fail, I would still be five green LEDs, two white LEDs, and a play button down at this point. To me, this is an unacceptable level of customer service. I ran the number. I'll put them on the screen here and in the description. But to suggest that across eight different RGB LEDs, that the green component in each failed completely by chance or due to some accidental damage is one over three. There are three components in each RGB LED. One over three to the power of eight. About one in 6,500. If these LEDs are actually RGBW, we were talking about one in 65 thousand ish so i'm doing the final edit on this video and i just felt the need to add that this is just the likelihood of failure given that you had eight failed leds if i were to consider prior chance that an led would fail in the first place these probabilities become much lower that's just for the statisticians in the audience it's very clear from the consistency of the failure of the green component that this is a manufacturer's defect and i have never been able to get a satisfactory solution from Pioneer. Fortunately, without a play button, I am unable to use it for its intended purpose. So I'm going to try to do a manual repair of this. Perhaps I'll film and document that. And if we get it working, I'll do a proper review of the decks at that point. Until that point in time, I cannot recommend the all-in-one controller, any of them, from Pioneer. Thanks for listening.